you know how much this is like blown up? It's crazy. I'm like, bathrobe, towel, hey. Well, I just thought everybody uses a towel, well, hopefully, to dry off. And then I thought, I've always used a towel for my hair. And I was like, I'm hosting this whole show. It was a two hour live show. And I was like, so nervous. The last thing I wanted to do was like squeeze into this like dress on the red carpet. Cause I was changing like 150 times in the, on the actual show. And I was like, we're gonna do a robe. Yeah, and everyone was like, what? I was like, yeah. Elizabeth Taylor style, give me a hell little lot of diamonds, give me a towel, we're going out there. And everyone was like, you're crazy. And then look what happened. People are just like, respect. And I was like, cool. And in, your, <laughs> and in Europe, <laughs> bathrobe sales skyrocket the next And time. I feel like now I don't even own a bathrobe. I feel like you need to have your own, because you design clothes, you need your own line of right? glamorous bathrobes. Yeah, well, this one's a glamorous bathrobe. I mean, it had a slit, guys. Like, what bathrobe has a slit? <laughs> And then anyway, but long story short, I just wanted to have fun. You know, I didn't want to think too much about it. And I knew people were going to be like, eh, or whoa. So I just was like, hey, I, I was comfortable. How did the, um, I know in America it was, it, it was well received. How did the <laughs> br uh, British or the European press receive that it was book? Yeah, it was well received. Everybody was kind of like, respect. I was like, yeah. <laughs> what about the rest of the show? They were like, eh. I was like, I spent two hours, I spent a week rehearsing this live show for the EMAs, it was called, the European Music Awards. And I was like, at my performance, they were like, but the bathrobe. I was like, fine. I right. hope you don't mind me. I, I had no, 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 I love it. I love it. I love it. Awesome.